Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4. I'm Mark Ross. Do you take prescription drugs and herbal supplements like St. John's Wort or Golden Seal? You may not be aware of the potential for drug interaction or side effects. ABC 7's medical contributor, Dr. Okachika Alozi with Sunset West Health is here to explain. Doctor, have a lot of your patients had questions about this? They do, and it's interesting because a lot of times what happens inadvertently is that somebody's on a medication and it's not working, or they get a side effect. And then when we look at all the other things that they take that people don't think about, I find out they're taking a herbal supplement. You know, what's really frustrating about this is that there's no great definition of what a supplement is. The FDA just says a product that's used to supplement the diet. Doesn't mean a lot. Okay. Now, talk about the possible interactions with prescription drugs and medicinal herbs. Yeah, so if you're on a prescription drug, a lot of different things can interact. I'll focus on a few of these and we'll talk about some other ones that you mentioned previously. I think grapefruit is a big one. People take grapefruits, other citruses, and they think they're doing well for their health, and they are. The problem is that a lot of medications can actually interact with grapefruit, and it can boost the effect of that medication. So if you're on an antipsychotic, or if you're on a blood thinner, it can actually make it toxic. Things like caffeine or coffee, if you're taking pseudoephedrine or cold medication, can actually induce a heart attack. And a lot of people put ginger and eucalyptus in their teas, which are great but they can actually worsen the effects of taking diabetes medication and actually give you very low blood sugar. And as we mentioned at the top of the segment, St. John's Wort, Golden Seal, two popular supplements. What interactions do those supplements have? Yeah, so you can see right there, antidepressants, birth control, and blood thinners, specifically with St. John's Wort. And if I had to list a supplement that's the one I worry about the most, that's at the top of the list, it can reduce the effect of all of those. So your antidepressant won't work, you can actually get pregnant on birth control, and it can make your blood thinners actually act in the opposite way and give you a clot. Not a lot of people know about Golden Seal, but it's used in a lot of cultures for anti-inflammation, pain, and healing, and again, clotting medications. I take Echinacea Golden Seal for immune support exactly. in the wintertime. That's exactly. a biggie for us. All right, now how important is it to keep a list of your medications and your supplements? Well, I think a couple of things, right? If you engage with any clinician or physician or provider, you should have that list. I mean, a lot of people, most of us have phones. There's a notes app. There's actually a health app on both Android and iOS, and you can keep those medications. It's important because a lot of times we forget what we're taking, right? And so when you go somewhere, people want to know, hey, what are you on? It's really helpful to just bring that out. What other good practices do you suggest to patients? I think read labels when you're buying things. Again, there's a host of different supplements and vitamins that are at the store. 80 to 90% of them are pretty useless, right?